In this video, we are going to talk about another application of chi-square test. Here, we are going to test the goodness of fit, which means determining whether a population being sampled has a specific probability distribution. In this video, we are going to discuss the multinomial probability distribution, and in the next video, we are going to do the goodness of fit test for the normal distribution. Let's look at our example. Consider the market share study being conducted by Scott Marketing Research. Over the past year, market shares for a certain product have stabilized at 30% for company A, 50% for company B, and 20% for company C. Since each customer is classified as buying from one of these companies, we have a multinomial probability distribution with three possible outcomes. The probability for each of the three outcomes is as follows. PA is the probability that a customer purchases the company A's product. PB is the probability a customer purchases company B's product. And PC, of course, is the probability a customer purchases the company C's product. Using the historical market share data, we have multinomial probability distribution with PA being 0.3, PB being 0.5, and PC being 0.2. Company C plans to introduce a new and improved product to replace its current entry in the market. Company C has retained Scott Marketing Research to determine whether the new product will alter or change the market shares for the three companies. Specifically, the Scott Marketing Research study will introduce a sample of customers to the new company C's product and then ask the customers to indicate a preference for the company A product, company B product, or the new company C product. Based on the sample data, the following hypothesis test can be used to determine if the new company C product is likely to change the historical market shares for the three companies. The hypotheses are straightforward. Now hypothesis is that PA is 30%, PB is 50%, and PC is 20%. The alternative hypothesis is the population proportions are not 30% for A, 50% for B, or 20% for C. Let's assume that the market research firm has used their consumer panel of 200 customers. Each customer was asked to specify a purchase preference among the three alternatives. Company A's product, Company B's product, and Company C's new product. And this table summarizes the observed frequencies. Out of the 200 customers, 48 prefer A's product, 98 prefers B's product, and 54 prefers company C's new product. With a total of 200 customers, we can compute the expected frequencies as well, based on PA is equal to 0.3, PB is 0.5, and PC is 0.2. As a result, we are expected to see 60 customers out of the 200 prefer A's product, 100 preferring B's product, and 40 preferring C's product. And next, let's do our calculation in IPython notebook. The calculation is pretty straightforward. The observed frequencies are 48, 98, and 54, and the expected frequencies are 60, 140, and then we can use least comprehension to calculate chi-square test statistic, assuming that confidence level is 95% or level of significance is 5%, we can find out about the critical chi-square value, and in the end, because this is the uh, upper tail test, we can calculate the p-value in such a way. And let's take a look at the final result. Chi-square test statistic is equal to 7.34, 
and the critical chi-square value is 5.99 and the p-value is 2.54 percent which is less than 5 percent our level of significance as a result we can conclude that we are going to reject the null hypothesis and saying that the new product indeed changes the market share now let's summarize the procedures for multinomial probability distribution goodness of fit test step one as usual is to formulate our hypothesis step two is to get a random sample and record the observed frequencies in step three assuming the now hypothesis is true we can determine the expected frequencies and then in step four we compute the value of the test statistic in the last step after we compute the p-value and the critical value we can draw our conclusions the degree of freedom is equal to k minus 1 k being the number of categories in our study in our example we have three companies or three market shares as a result the degree of freedom is equal to 3 minus 1 intuitively once we know the market shares of two out of three companies we know the market share for the last company immediately that's why the degree of freedom is 2 in our example in general the degree of freedom is k minus 1